In 97, when Tiger won, you handed him the green jacket, and that obviously came off the bat. Yeah. Was it three US amateurs, and then he come burst in the scene? Yeah. Did you have any idea at that moment? Obviously, he'd won the Masters. I think, was it 21? He was an incredible yeah. talent. Did you foresee how good he was going to be? Were people talking about it then, that this guy's going to be super special? Or did it still surprise well, I, you? Well, I think I think they, you did know, because he won, he won three juniors. US junior, didn't he? Mm. He won three US amateurs. Yeah, in a row. Uh, so he's winning everything, so, and then he comes out and God, obviously I played with him. On the, we, we both go out in forty on Thursday morning, and then he comes back in thirty. And then I say jokingly, we then didn't see him for for dust for the next twelve years. Yeah, so crazy, he was, he was a different golfer than he could do. But like I was saying before, that nobody could elevate the whole of their game to being a, you know say, let's say a nine out of ten. In all of those three categories, well, no, even other, ca- even in, even all the, so even no, even all the golf, ca- like you, how good your wedge play, how good your mid irons, how good your short irons, how good your long irons, how good your three woods, how good your driving. So every department he was the considered best. possibly the best. Maybe the odd one might be driving, might may not have been deemed the best driver. I and mean, when he hits it straight, for unbelievable. Yeah. But he might knock a few sideways, of course. But but every other thing, you go, well, who's better than him? So. It, he was he was head and shoulders for years for a decade um better than anybody else i know you might not want to speculate but do you think obviously 2019 was ridiculous to him come back and win the masters yeah obviously he's had a huge car crash yeah in since that do you think it's ever possible for him to have you seen any glimpses well, I, I know would, you spoke to him in the booth would, recently yes yeah we were with him he wouldn't really let on cuz i heard that you know obviously um this right ankle, I mean, it was literally severed. His leg was severed and it was smashed. I mean, his whole ankle, so I don't believe it flexes. Enough. Right. So going up and down hills Up and down hard. hills is real hard. So it's a real simple question is how good are you at walking a golf course? I mean, it's, and it's yes. not just one day. You've got to at least have five days. Of course. I mean, the old course minute. is fairly flat. It depends you, on you the little undulations. But you say that, or it's all those awkward... There's a lot of that that greens, I mean, that yeah. agree. When you, if somebody, if you counted up how many times your ankle flexes in a day, you'd Hundreds, hate to think. Yeah. Hundreds, thousands. be thousands. Thousands, yeah, it's thousands. crazy. If you're doing 10,000 steps, yeah. and your no, ankle's yeah. up and down. And you think of this as golf, don't you? But like you said, it's the walking around the golf course, that four or five days of doing it. It's, there's a lot to, to ask what we now, can And I know, it's in the, and in the, uh, we watched him at the Father and Son, he... He cannot push off with the right leg. He's so strong. He's amazing physically. I mean, he's he's got a I mean, waist at twenty eight inches, and his chest is, looks like his upper body looks enormous. Really so he's using stacked. the up top upper half to pull the right leg round. So he can't actually just power like you'd see a Justin Thomas do his right leg action. So he's dragging it around the corner. But I, you just don't know with that man's determination yeah. whether. He can somehow find a way to. Uh, I said, I mean, and Augusta is one of the hardest walks because not so much the, it's the down. When we walk off the tee, you always generally go downhill for a while. Yeah. And you get shin splints there. That one gives you the shin yeah. splint. You Certainly down like a yeah. uh, 10. There's plenty really of them. severe. It, it's the only one where you actually get shin splints. So it's a tough walk, it really yeah. is. If you were to build, you mentioned it a minute, if you were to build your perfect golfer. From all the oh, golfers perfect. you've played, yeah, that's cool. In all the time, good question. Build um, me a perfect golfer. You can start whichever category you want to start. Wow, in. yeah, that's a good one. So, um, oh, you mean so who was the best driver and that sort of thing? If you were to thing? build the perfect golfer, yeah, I mean, obviously. Ah, oh, so I've seen, you know, with Jacks was a great driver, or as I said, Seve Watson was really crunch a driver. Greg was a great driver of the ball, and then. The three woods. Fred Couples used to hit some amazing three woods, and and Retief Goosen. So you get you see where I'm going. Different people. And then Long Irons Wisecoff was amazing with the you know two irons. I st- I still remember. I can still hear the sound of Wisecoff hitting two irons. It was something like that. Crazy. Um, Mid irons. You know Johnny Miller was great. I was half decent, so I might <laughs> I might slip in a tight <laughs> second for that <laughs> one. You know, and I played with old school boys, you know, Billy Casper was a great short iron, of course, Lee Trevino, Gary Player, Bunker Sevy, you know, Tiger could scrambling skills. Tiger for super cut up lobs, not so much Phil, but 
but those those ones that Tiger used to hole. Oh yeah, like, when it was all yeah. danger, water behind. Oh, yeah, and then go whoomph and it's in. Yeah, crazy. I mean, it's like wow. And so, um, hey, you see where I'm going? You, it's a lot of names. It's it's fun to put. Even the, that, just you don't even have to give well, us one name. Well, one of the, the yeah. category you just gave us was really. Oh, the last one we're about putting. Well, Tigers, it's never seen a man hold so many parts on an 18th green to win. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. I mean. Crazy good. So then, last category is this mental, like mental. Would it well, still be well, that's pretty again? obvious. I mean, Jack and Tiger, mental strengths. Um, it's been quite a few Iron Men. I'm sure you've been asked this question loads, and you might get sick of it. I am. I don't even know the question. I'm already sick of it. <laughs> are you <laughs> gonna? Th- are you gonna say ask? Well, dying to ask. I wasn't really gonna ask you about it, but I kind of feel like you're you were in, right in that era. Jack or Tiger? Then. Well, I I still go with Jack. Because, well, I go with Jack because he's at 18 majors and, ni- and 19 seconds. That's the mad thing when you look at that. It's astonishing. And, it's, and, and a few more. So what does that make? 43. He's 43 are in one, two, and three in majors. Like 43 crazy. of them. Out of, out of playing about 150 of them, 140 of them. Like so 10 the, years worth. Yeah. <laughs> it's off the, yeah. Exactly. Off the chart. So... Got to give him credit for that. So I'd, I'd lean that way. But what you know, what the fact that we've seen more Tiger shots. I mean, Jack's a lot of his events. He you know, majors he won in the sixties and seventies. They TV coverage didn't start to the last no. six holes or something. So we've seen Tiger literally hit every blooming golf shot. So that's why a lot of would lean to it. But you know what Jack did, and all those top tens. That my goodness, I mean, it's, that's. Uh, do you think it was? It's as clear then. If, if Tiger did get beyond Jack in majors, is then it's like then it's Tiger. Oh yeah, it's I think the, so. It's I think very we, much based we, on we that. We kind of have. I mean, it's in Jack's words, we that's our yardstick. Um, is the number of majors we've won? We kind of that's so. That's the number one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the. That, well, it's a. It is a difference. It's a different event to win. I mean, you do have to have a. A different mental strength, which is all part of our game and, and sport. I I feel you know mental strength is is part of it. Well, just a quick, we asked Victor Hovland when we had him on the podcast was it last week or the week before about how he treats a major, and he said that he kind of goes into a major trying to think the same as every tournament. But did you find that, or did you find that a major just felt different on like well, the yeah, Wednesday? They were, yeah, they, well, they will feel different. So you know, I found majors would obviously ramp me up anyway. So I was trying to knock it back down a couple mm. of notches i'd had no problems getting motivated for for big events so it was almost like well how can i make this more normal and um so like the open it suddenly dawned on me you know, everybody would bowl up there and get brand new shoes and gloves and clothes and everything and i suddenly thought why are you risking having brand new stuff mm. so i wrote i started bringing all the old stuff and yeah. thought, well, i'll wear the shoes already worn in i'd even wear in my golf gloves you know, I'd even warm up a golf glove and make sure it fitted perfectly. Of course, before putting into tournament use. Yeah, I, I'm a bit like I don't. I'm, not, win, I'm a brand new glove. I don't like, I don't do like cleaning my clubs. No, I like. I, I feel clubs. like even cleaning my clubs is a bit like oh, the expectation level. Like sometimes, <laughs> like pitching up somewhere nice, I'm like, I'm not even a bit hungover is your tactic. Isn't it? 